Hey guys, I'm Vincent, and this is a review of the Dell Venue 11 Pro. Uh, this is the i5 edition. Um, first impressions, I have been using this for about two or three weeks. First impressions was I really liked it, but there was a few bugs, a lot of software bugs that they haven't fixed yet. But hopefully they'll release drivers and BIOS files to fix all these issues. I noticed that there's a thread on Dell and they're actually actively keeping track of it and tra um, actively fixing the issues or workarounds. Uh, the first issue I noticed when I first used a tablet was that it would freeze a lot when I was using it without the keyboard. And the solution to that was I installed the Intel graphics driver and that Dell provided and installed the latest one from the Intel's website. And that fixed a touching issue of lag. Uh, I noticed also people uninstalled the Realtek drivers. I did that anyways without trying it, but it solved my lagging issues. Mm. See, sometimes you have keyboard issues as well. Uh, I don't know if this is a software issue or a hardware issue. I have to read the forums and keep you guys updated. But sometimes it doesn't respond. And the only way to get a respond is either turn off the screen, turn it back on. Sometimes it'll work. If not, you have to undock it and redock it for it to work properly. So I'll just go to Word. And it, um, there were some people asking how loud the keyboard is, if it's good or not. So here's just like um, me typing on it, so you'll get an idea kind of. So you notice that it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's not too mushy or anything. It's a nice feel. I also noticed that for the trackpad, if, you, if you're if you typing, because you see my hands are really big, right? So if you're typing and you accidentally, like your palm, your hand accidentally touches the trackpad, it'll actually register it as a touch. And then you'll start typing somewhere else or you'll go out of your field, your text field and you won't be able to type. And you have, to re -go back. you have to go back and click on the field or go to the end of the sentence, etc. Um, they are probably trying to fix this as well. People have mentioned it on the forums. And this person named Brian that works at Dell has been actively keeping track of everything. Um, they, ha they had a beta A08 BIOS file, but they didn't release it. They didn't release it, so I guess it wasn't stable enough for... Uh, consumer release. Um, hey guys, so the stylus did die on me within two weeks of very, very light use. I only used it about five days a week, but only about one or two hours a day. Um, and I don't know about where you guys live, but in Canada, quadruple A batteries are very, very expensive. So what I did was I took a nine volt energizer battery, I ripped off the side, I peeled. I peel the sides down. The easiest way is when it's on, you'll notice that one side has like a fold on the side. You'll want to rip this side, it'll be a lot easier. And then you just pull off the top, and then inside you reveal six quadruple A batteries. Uh, you'll also notice that you'll need like a pointed edge, but since these are both flat on both sides, what I did was I took the original 
quadruple A battery that came with the stylus. And then it had like this nib at the top. And what I did was I took a pair of pliers and I just ripped it off and then I bent it back flat. Um, what you do is you'll notice that this side has a pointed edge and you'll probably think that's the neg uh, positive side. That's why I thought the first two, but this is actually a negative side. What you want to do is take the nib and put it on like that. And then it'll work as a quadruple A battery. So you notice on the inside, you need a point, a little nib for it to work properly. Easiest way to put it in is slide the battery in to the this side, and then you put the nib on the stylus, and then you just screw it in. So this is, this is it's a good pen, but the bat, there's a lot of issues with it. So they are not selling them on the Dell website anymore. Um, they are coming out a revised version in February. Whoever has problems with the stylus, you I'll put the link in the description where they'll give you instructions on how to get a replacement. All you have to do is pretty much call Dell, tell them to get you, tell them about your pen, and they'll give you a service number, and then they'll send it to you within a month when it releases. Hopefully, the new pen will be a lot better than this for battery life. I had no issues writing with it, uh, not many issues. Um, the only bad thing was the batteries. The batteries was really expensive. Um, as you can see, I can write and it'll work, so the battery does work. So yeah. You're probably wondering how good the pen is as well. So, another bad thing about this is I noticed that there's a Windows key button here. And if you're writing and your hand actually goes on top of it, the Dell, you'll it'll vibrate and let you know that you touch the button and when you let go, it'll go over here. It'll mess up your writing and stuff. But there are register, registry files that will disable this button. But what I've been doing was I've just been using it upside down. So the Windows key is actually on top. And then use right here. So hello YouTube. This is a test on how good the style this is. So you notice that my writing isn't perfectly good, but it's pretty good for using a pen. Uh, I haven't, I never tried a Wacom active stylus before, so I can't really compare it to other tablets, but just writing on here seems pretty good. Um, I'll show you some of my things that I wrote in class. So, this is what I wrote. Uh, it looks pretty good, pretty clean. Um, that was just me scribbling. Um, and I also noticed that some people had issues with the pen uh, when you're writing, and it'll, there'll be like a trail following or something. So, like even if you hover, but I noticed that these buttons are really, really easy to click. Uh, even when you're not wanting to click them, when you're writing, you just happen to hit it by accident or something. And when you're writing and you hit the bottom button, it will leave and you hover, it'll just follow the stylus wherever you go. I'm assuming this is like a drawing feature, but I, wouldn't use, I don't use it on OneNote because I'm just writing words. So maybe that was the issue. Um, so hopefully they'll have a re the revised version will be a lot better than this. Since I'm doing the benchmarks, some of you guys were asking like if it's really loud or not because the Atom version of this tablet doesn't have a fan, but the i5 or i3s do have fans. So since I'm benchmarking it currently, the fan is turning on periodically. I don't know if you guys are here or not, but it's pretty quiet. It's not like extremely loud, but you might notice it in the silent room. But currently, like I don't hear that much sound.
So for the tablet, there are four vents at the top. The two on this side, I believe it's intake because no air blows out of this side. All the air blows out of this side. So this side's intake, this side's outtake. I mean, exhaust. The benchmark are finished, and as you can see, the Dell Venue 11 Pro is on the bottom with a score of 146. With follow, uh, following that is the i5 3317U with a f score of 214, and a i7-3840QM which is with the score of 505, and an Intel i7-3720QM has a score of 590. Here are some pictures I took with the Dell Venue 11 Pro camera. Uh, one is of the keyboard and one is just a picture of my backyard. Uh, as you can tell, the quality is pretty decent for a tablet. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe. Since I'm pretty new at making these review videos, uh, I would like for you guys to give me some suggestions on what you guys like to see in the future or how I could do things better. Thanks.